Over here, uh, I would say. So it's the random uh, data generator. So you can go over here, you can create your data from over here. So I went ahead and uh, created the data. So over here, need the staging table for country as well. So I'll just go ahead. You create a staging table for country code. As country, we can go ahead and use any source system. We don't really need a specific source system for that. So that's why I'm just having only two sources, only a single source for the country. And do you want me to go ahead and uh, create the entire set of uh, landing table and everything for country or is it fine that I go ahead and load the data into the country and just load it? We'll be loading it from landing and staging and base object for party and address. So just let me know. So this is just a lookup table. That's what I'm just asking. I think we can create it. So. Landing and all? Sure. So I'm just uh, sending the country code into PK source as well. Okay. So we'll just go over here. As we do not have any ETLs to do the do our particular job, so we'll just go ahead and use the landing tables and directly import the data. over here import the data let's stop I have the delimiter is on I have the header as well next put the attributes country name is description code is country code Okay, I need those.
Excuse me a second. I think all these are having why they are having like that much of data. And records is having very much why. Okay, so they are having multiple formats. Just check if anything else is there. Do is refresh and uh, there are uh, there was multiple commas in certain number of country columns. That's why. That is imported. So we'll see. All these are over here, right? So for going ahead and updating the time, we can go ahead and update the time as well. Just uh, let me just go ahead and connect this one as well. Or I can utilize, you can see that right now it's over there, it's empty, right? So we can, for that particular purpose, that we can have a date time. We'll go over here to so the system it would be taking the last update data is right now so we have the data in the landing table right right so, so how did you got that like uh, now thing uh, just with right click just a bit right click nothing else i just added the function Oh, okay, okay. In the these are all the cleanse functions, right? The cleanse functions which we okay. created, and these are all the functions which are given by Informatica for us. And if you'll see over here for party, I have used the concatenate function. What I'm doing is I'm adding the registry ID as my first value, second value is bar, and the third value is coming from system name. So it would for the primary key. So it would be registry ID uh separator system name okay yeah so that is how i have gone ahead and done that so we'll go into the batch viewer for landing table we have loaded for country right so we'll go into the country staging table okay so we'll go ahead and execute the batch. So you can see it's been done. So all the 248 records got inserted. There were 248 records, right? So if we'll go over here, there are 248 records in total, right? These are just the numbers. I didn't do anything. It's for, as I stated earlier, right? That uh, the source row ID would be the utilized for if there is would be any rejects which will be happening, right? So that is one way to do it. And then we'll go ahead and do the load part and execute. As it's the first time, we don't need any force update to be utilized. So you can see uh, the stage was being completed within fraction of seconds, right? It got finished within four seconds. But our load job is taking a little bit more time. It took around 
11 seconds to go ahead and insert. So all these are inserted, but all the others were zero, right? If we go over here and in the country, you'll see in cross reference, all the data is being inserted with the system name, last updated date, and everything. And there's the staging table ID. You can see right now this 31 and this 31 is exactly the same. Right? So if there would be any changes in the row ID object, it would go ahead and change that. So original row ID object means, let's say there were two records which got merged together and the second record was merged into first one. So original row ID will for second, it will remain second, but for over here, it will be updated. So you can see all the records are there in base object as well. There won't be any record in VX, this, any of these table, but control table, ECTA table, nothing is there, right? Because there is no updates which are getting done. So control table only holds the updates for any record. So now when this is done, we'll go ahead and load the data for address and party. And we'll utilize our batch group to do that, okay? We'll add the party load. So you can now add the stage tables for party as well. Okay. Then load for CRM, SAP, load for address CRM and SAP. First we'll go ahead and do all these things, okay? Let's go ahead and add the data. Is my landing table over here? Import the data. Uh, party. See all the data. I have added the address data also in this one, but I have separated them out. Right, so I'll just go ahead and add only these attributes which are needed for us. I think I have the system name. So I'll just go ahead and remove all these columns. So only these columns will be shifted. The registry ID will go into registry ID, system name will go into system name. Now you think, now you can see that row ID is not coming up, right? So for that, I think we have to go ahead and add the data into source row ID because I forgot that part. So what I can do is these are 250. These would be thousand records which are there. Now I'll go ahead and import for SAP as well. The same exact thing is coming on. Next, registry ID would be going into registry ID system name will go into system name. You can see first name, last name, gender and status is going into correct places. We have added them, but the source row ID needs the data to be imported. So I can just go ahead and push the data. I will do is uh, 
I'll just go ahead and use the replace function. I'm just going ahead and push it up. I just remove all the dashes and just push push out all the numeric formats over here. Okay. The same thing. So this one is done. Now we have to add the address. Import the data. We go ahead. Import. RTID. Country code will be going into country. Street will be going to address line one. City to city. State to state. Do I have a state over here? No, I don't have a state. Line one city and system. So all the is added right now. So we'll just go ahead and add the Wiki and the source row ID object both. Or the party ID is built. This is done. Okay, I had to add okay. put from the table as well. It's AP open next. next. So we updated all that and we have to add the primary key as well. So primary key we can go ahead and add as party ID and source system or we can go ahead and add party id city and uh, source system any of these three okay. because right now in other in regular uh, terms what we can go ahead and always do is the primary key is always created with a address type there is a all there might 90 percent chances in every model the address with the address there would be a type associated with that it's a postal address or which kind of address and with that the primary keys are being created Just use the source system and I'll just use city name.
were ahead with the killer. Wiki is also been updated. Okay. So address is loaded, our party is party data is loaded. So right now you can see that in address we have no row ID objects which are being added up, right? So how this thing will look like? So we have the landing for both the data and for party and address both. So we'll just go over here. We'll say execute. So if you'll go over here, the stating executed field. Okay, last update was last updated was an issue. Okay. Add a function. Add it, add it the last update date. Right. Just go ahead and say so last update. So, Here is there, over here is there, over here is also there, perfect. The batch group. So right now you can see that in the batch group we had some failures, right? So in this one, we'll see failures with the message. So all the records which will get rejected, you can go ahead and see how they were rejected. So this is what it will showcase us. And the same we can go ahead and see it over here. Staging tables are down. In the address or which one it got uh, created in address it was created so rejects and so you can see all the data which came in all the data for crm which came in right so over here we always go for error description and this job row ID object, this is the source row ID, which we had. It, it will get updated according to the system. Okay. So over here, if we have to go ahead and check what is the data which will be going in, so we have to have a primary key. In that primary key we will be seeing over here. So if there would be any updates which will be going in. Yeah. 
refresh so you can see party data has been sent in and uh, this one is party for sap which was been sent in how much got inserted Okay. But where is the address label? Why it was restarted? The entire batch. Yeah, now it will be going in. see address and party all are completed with how many records got inserted and all no action because the party data was exactly same missing lookup what missing lookup we are having we'll be having the party ID as missing lookup. As we have removed the dashes for the row ID objects, right? So how we can go ahead and update these things or check these things? Like all these things will be coming into picture whenever we'll be going ahead and doing so all the records are rejected. You can go ahead and see over here as well and in the rejectable as well. Just go and do the staging for address. comment and we will just go ahead to the loop all the records got rejected we just went ahead and updated the correct parts so we just directly load the data CRM it would be CRM. So whenever the ETL jobs are being added up, all these things you will not see initially because we'll be having in a proper way. Right now I'm just adding it from Excel. So that's why I'm facing these many issues. Now why it was being rejected. Uh, 
cannot find the lookup value for party ID. Why it is not able to find out? See what has gone into the party. Let's first check what we have set. Let's set for this cross reference primary source cross reference. Okay, primary key source doesn't have replaced. In country code is CAR7, CAR3, oh, that is fine because that is also CAR3. I think this should not give us any more issues now. I hope so. Still there are results. Oh, great. I just messed it up. I'm going to the landing table now. We have party ID over here, and okay, so I have to just do it. So we just go over It's been inserted. No, two records rejected. Why cannot find the lookup value for the country column? X six. Okay. Even I don't have any idea about these ones. To be honest, which country is that? So that's the lookup failure over there. And 196 reports got inserted. Now our part where we were actually waiting 
for match and merge. We'll just go over here. We'll just apply. The duplicate one and execute. Let's see how much data we face, which would be duplicate. So you can see over here the party table. We have around two nine something data. Let's see what happens with this. It will take some time. Yeah, uh, so till this is actually going ahead and taking time. So these all issues which we just got. These are because we were trying to go ahead and create the data with manually, basically. But if it would be an ETL job, then these things will not come into picture. Because in the ETL, all these things will be going through multiple joints and multiple validations. So these data won't be certain number of issues which will be coming up. Even if we are having the files, which will be, we will be loading it into the MDM, then also that particular part will be coming up via ETL only. ETL will be picking up the file. I'll give you this website name over here. Okay. The second 